Hey guys, welcome back. It's Melissa McCone, if you're new to me. Um, thanks for joining. And we're gonna talk about what I bought on Amazon in March. So, okay, the reason I'm doing this video is because I kinda bought a lot of stuff in March uh, on Amazon. So, but the first thing that I wanna say is, okay, I am a big supporter of your local businesses. So please, support your local businesses, support your small shops. Like, I'm a big supporter. I really do try to shop local as much as I can. Like, um, Chris's family, they have like a little mom and pop um, brick and mortar business they've had for so many years. Like, support your small businesses, okay? But, with that said, there's some things that you just can't get local, and you have to go to Amazon. And so, and honestly, I live in a small town, so um, it's just a lot easier to shop online instead of running an hour away to look for some of the stuff. Like, I know I can't even find all of the things that I needed, um, the larger town that's an hour away from where I live. So, I go to Amazon. Yes, I buy a lot from Amazon. I'm sorry if Amazon is the reason that Toys R Us is going out of business. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but um, I'm, I'm, Amazon's big. I mean, it's huge. And I actually looked the other day at, uh, I was like, when we were on our spring break long road trip, I just started pulling up, like, who's the, um, uh, like, billionaire, the billionaires of the country, and, um, like, you know, who makes the most money, whatever. Amazon was number one. I think he was the top billionaire. So, that says a lot right there. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to show y'all what I bought. And maybe it's something you've already bought or you've never thought about and you're like, hmm, I might want to try that. So, that's why I do these videos, guys. Hopefully, it's helpful information for you. That's the whole point of them. So, I'm sorry if I kind of look like a clown today. I, the, the lighting is just really strange right here. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. So, with that said, let's get to it. All right. So, the first thing that I'm actually going to um, talk to you guys about, and I'm just going to put a picture up here or in the next shot. This is the travel bag we use for our luggage. But it's a canvas bag that I bought from Amazon. I can't really, like, show you the box. I don't have it anymore or a big picture of it because it's a big canvas bag. So it's like a luggage canvas bag that you put on top of your vehicle and it's waterproof. It held up very well and we had to unpack it and pack it quite a bit. And um, we went through some crazy wind driving through Texas and Kansas. I was like, this bag is going to get ripped off the top of this car. It was, it was crazy. Like, and of course, Every time I was driving, that's when we were going through the windy part. But anyway, the bag held up very well, and it was not expensive. It was $50, okay? It had good reviews, and like I said, it's waterproof. So I'm going to, um, and all of these, all the products that I talk about, I'll put them in the description below as well. So that way, if it's something you're interested in, you can just go right through to it. Just click on it. The next thing that I want to talk about is some dog stuff. Okay, I don't know if any of you are dog lovers like we are. So we have two Yorkies and a Boxer. This is Axel and Lola and Link, our fur babies. Well, my Yorkies, one of them potty trained and the male just would not train. So, and I have pee pads. That's something else I'm going to show y'all I get from Amazon. So I have looked and looked and looked as far as buying these male diapers because that's what he has to wear in the house are these male like wraps so i'm not gonna have them peeing all over the house so anyway i've bought these male wraps I've, I've done so many different things and i've even bought the ones where like it's a cloth wrap and you just have to put like a pad in it and then like they if they the cloth wraps still get wet and i just it was just gross it was just gross so i ended up started to buy these little male wraps and they're like little diapers, okay? And so, it's a male wrap. It wraps around his little belly and covers his you-know-what, and it's a diaper. And it has, these have the uh, little Velcro. It's just a one-strip Velcro. It holds very well. Um, 
I can't remember what size I got, but I'll put it in the below in the description. But he's like five or six pounds, Yorkie, okay? And these fit him very well this size. And it's called the Top Dog Ultra. No, no, no. That's not what it is. Wait, I skipped around. Hold on. It's called the Value Wrap Ma Value Wrap Mail Wraps. And I actually bought 120 of them for $74 because it was just cheaper to do it that way. So where some I bought like a 12 pack for like 12 or $13, you know, it averages out to be a dollar a wrap. Well, when you go, you're going through like two or three of these a day, you got to find a cheaper route. So, um, I was able to break it down to about 60 cents a wrap. So these are the ones that I got. So I'm just saying guys, if you have a dog that is having problems inside, you know what? You just don't have to do this and it's fine. No, I don't love it when people come over and they're like, why's your dog got a diaper on? I'm like, well, because he wouldn't potty train, so that's what we had to do. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about, more dog stuff, is these, like, charcoal. Like, so my dogs are trained to go inside the house um, because, and this is a big reason, I don't just say this, we live on a power line, and we have hawks that fly up and down those power lines, so my dogs really don't go outside that much. The little dogs don't. The boxers outside all the time. But... It, I just can't leave them outside and because they're little and those hawks will swoop down and get them. So that's the big reason why I have the pee pads down for the dogs and, and the females, she's fine and they do number two on them fine, but it's just the male doesn't like to pee on them. But anyway, so these are the new pee pads that I got. And these are called the Top Dog Ultra Gigantic Deluxe Puppy Pads. I get a box of them. It's 40 pads for $23. And that might sound like a lot, but it's a big pad. Okay? Like, I didn't put the dimensions down, but I want to say it was like a 32 or something. But anyway, so it's, it's a big pad. Okay? Just trying to show you and they pee on the charcoal parts. What I like about it actually is that they are black and not like a bright white color, so it's not so obvious that it's laying down. I mean, unless you had white flooring, but mine's ceramic tile and, you know, wood. So that's what I liked about the black. Plus it had good reviews and, and they, you can use them a little bit longer because they are bigger. So that's something that I liked about it. So, okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is a new microphone that I got for my videos because I do my videos right now just from my iPhone because honestly the quality is pretty good instead of getting my big camera out. So like right now I'm using my, my phone, but I did get a new microphone and it, I can't, I'm using it right now. Um, so I'll try and put a picture of it. So this is the Ceramonic Smart Mic that I use for my videos. It works very well and it was $20 and it comes with like a little clip so that the microphone like sticks out towards you but it does not come with the little doggle that you have to have. A little extra wire for like iPhone 7s and 8s and whatever how they have the different um, little what's it called? Just like the little you know, it's not, it's not the, um, oh my gosh, I went blank on what I'm trying to say. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about, and I don't have one here to show you, but the little small cord that you have to use with, with the iPhone 7s and up, okay, does not come with one of those, so you can, of course, add it to your cart and get an extra one, so that's what I did for this, so it works very well, it's a really good microphone, um, like I said, it's $20, so if you're doing videos or um, something like that and you're just even kind of getting started that's a good microphone because honestly the sound quality really does matter when you're doing videos and mine could be better I know that but this is what I'm using so I like it it works okay so the next thing that I want to talk about is another adapter for your phone and I could not find it before this video um, but hopefully I can put a picture in the video of it this is the iPhone 7 adapter and splitter that I used but anyway, so, you know, what's the big struggle when you have the iPhone 7s and up is you cannot charge your phone and you cannot 
listen to music at the same time. So this is just another one of those little doggle things. I don't even think I'm saying that right. Whatever. Um, that you plug into your phone and it has two extenders off of it. So you can charge your phone and listen to music at the same time. Uh, when you have four kids and they all have phones like that, um, that's a struggle. Because everybody needs to charge their phone and wants to listen to music at the same time. So um, I got that for our trip and it was very helpful. So just saying that's something to think about when you have those phones and you're wanting to listen to music and charge at the same time. Just get the little extender and it splits off to two so you can plug them both in. Okay. Um, okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is something that I really am liking and it is the Cauliflower Foods Gluten-Free Low-Carb Pizza Crust. And this is my second box of this. Let's see. There's two in the box. Um, it is a little pricey, but, and I want to say it was like $20 for two crusts. So, I mean, that's like $10 a crust. But um, it's really good. And they sent like a little review about like comparing it to Cola Power, Trader Joe's, and Collie Crust. And just like, so if you're doing keto, this is a really great pizza crust to use. And it is, so this pizza crust has six grams of carbs. That's not bad at all. Um, 180 calories, 15 grams of protein, and four and a half grams of fat. Okay, so that is that's that is for a third of the pizza crust so that is not bad at all so I'm gonna pull this out and show y'all like I said this is our second box and this is what the the pizza crust looks like it's really garlic really garlicky I mean it's not it's not obviously it's not thick at all but it is really good and so like Chris and I we just like split it and I make up a um, like hamburger meat mixture with some cream cheese and some mushrooms and maybe I put some bell peppers and onions in it and I put some mozzarella cheese and pepperonis on top. Oh my gosh. I'm not even kidding. I love this. Like, I don't care how much it is. I will continue to get that pizza crust. It's really good. So, just want to say that. Um, something else that I got from Amazon that I did not like at all and I honestly didn't even use it because all I did was feel of it and I was like oh heck no this stuff isn't going anywhere near my hair so I got this um Ibiza um hairbrush and it's a um barrel brush and it's supposed to be for blonde hair so my hair is just it's it's dry I mean it's it's brittle. I bleach my hair. So my hair is never going to be just wonderful unless I just stop bleaching it and I stop using heat tools and, you know, drying it with a blow dryer. Like, it's it's never going to be just 100%. I promise you it's a whole lot better than it used to be. But it's never just going to be 100%. So I, I saw this round brush by Ibiza. Actually, I saw someone on YouTube doing a review on it. I was like, oh, a round brush, brush for blondes? I'm all about that. So, I ordered one, and when I got it, you know, of course, I, it's supposed to be like a boar bristle brush. And I have a boar bristle brush, not a round brush, but just one I brush my hair with, and I really love it. It's very soft. This thing is so stiff. I'm sorry, but maybe it's great for some blondes, but I would not put this thing anywhere near my hair because all I could do was see it just breaking the hair off because it's so stiff like don't advertise this for blondes just because it's blonde colored brush okay blondes can't use this i don't see how maybe i'm missing something but i'm just i i didn't even i didn't even put it anywhere near my hair like i got it out i felt of it and i was like uh no nah, not going on my hair so um anyway so that's something i just want to throw out there that it's advertised for blondes I'm just not seeing how it's great for blondes. Maybe, maybe it's great for blondes that have never bleached their hair and their hair's not dry or whatever. Maybe it is great for them, but I would not put it on my hair, use it on my hair. Um, 
Oh man, I forgot something. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm back. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk about is this Lily's Dark Chocolate. Um, it's Stevia, 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 Stevia sweetened. Um, 55% cocoa. It's vegan, non-GMOs. So I got these um, chocolate chips from Amazon because I just trying y'all don't look at my ugly fingernails when we went skiing i broke like all of my fingernails i mean they were so long and healthy okay that's a whole nother story but anyway so i got these um lily chocolate chips because i love to make fat bombs because chris and i are doing keto and um i love to make these fat bombs and so it was recommended to try these chocolate chips and you know, just because of the um, the nutrients and the macros that you need to look at when you're doing keto. And like 60 chocolate chips has four and a half fat grams. That's it. Um, let's see, what else? Nine carbs and it's zero sugar. Okay, so, you know, it, it's, it was good. for If you're doing keto, you know, get something like that. Let's see, it was $12 for a nine ounce bag. So, um, not bad to me. I mean, you know, they're going to last a while. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about that we ordered, and I ordered these for our trip, our long 17-hour drive, because I knew someone was probably going to get car sick. Thankfully, no one did, but I was prepared. Um, so, it's these C-bands, okay, these little wristbands. I'm trying to see. So th these things are actually really great for travel, motion sickness, and they're also really great if you are pregnant. Many, 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 many years ago when I was pregnant with my first child, Sydney, she uh, just decided I need to throw up for the first three months like every day. And I tried everything. Like it, it was it was awful. Like I really, after that moment, I was like, I'm not having another kid, which I did. But um, it was it was so bad. Like I literally felt like I was motion sickness for, or had motion sickness for like three months. It was awful. So I actually got some of these bands to try. So what it does is it has like a little pressure point right here, and um, that pressure point hits a certain pressure right here on your wrist, and it helps with motion sickness. And so actually I wore these when I was sick with her, and they do help. So, if you're traveling, even going on a boat, um, you can get some of these bands. They make them in um, youth sizes and adult sizes. And so, they, they do work. They do help. And you just leave it on your wrist and just wear it, you know. It's a whole lot better to wear something that might be looking a little ridiculous than to be throwing up all over the place. Just saying. I mean, that's how I feel about it anyway. Okay, the next thing that I got is this um these two sweeteners because we can't find these around here um these are just for keto as well i got powdered sugar and the granular sweetener so i use the granular for my bat bombs and i haven't used the powdered yet but anyway i plan to so that's just something else it's the erythritol zero calorie all natural sweetener so you know, I mean, it's kind of like stevia, but I don't know. It was suggested. I just got it, and I haven't been disappointed yet. I don't know. So, anyway, it's better for you. Um, those are 16 ounces, and they were $12 each. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show y'all is also keto-related, and it is the Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops, all-natural, um, and it's vanilla cream. Okay, I make Bulletproof Coffee every morning, and I put some of this in there. It is so good. I put a few other things in there as well, but this was recommended if you're doing bulletproof coffee. And so yeah, I really like it. And it is just look like a liquid stevia um, vanilla cream, $9 is how much that is. So, I mean, not bad, I don't guess. I mean, I use it a lot, so I'm probably gonna go through it kind of quick, so I'll be ordering some more soon. But that's okay, because I use it, as long as I use it. Okay, something else that I got for our travel, our long 17-hour trip, like I said, I felt like people, somebody was gonna probably get um, car sick. Thankfully, they didn't. But I got these vomit bags. <laughs> 
So what you do is you just put your face over the hole. What's really funny about these bags, and the kids saw it too and they were laughing about it, is that it actually has lines on it so you can see how much you threw up. Okay, like, who wants to see that? I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But it's there on the bags. Um, so I have, a, I have a lot of these, actually, because it came in um, 24, 24, no, it was $24. Or maybe I got 24 for 10. Mm, I don't remember. Anyway, if y'all need a vomit bag, just call me. I'll send you one. Come by my house. You can get one. Put a few in your car, okay? I don't need all of these, but I am offering them to you, okay? So, if you live in my town, shoot me a text. I'll, I'll get you some vomit bags. You never know. You might need one. Okay, so the next thing that I got for myself, apparently every time I go... Whoops, I dropped that. Every time I go on a trip, I think I need a new purse. I don't know. I did this when we went to Vegas. I got a new purse. So I thought, well, we're going on a trip, so duh, I need a new purse. So I got this um, uh, Kate Spade purse for our trip. And I'll be honest, I really, um, I really, I really do like it. And it's this pretty pink color, great for spring, um, has the long strap you know with like the little little buckle here for adjusting but what i really liked about this purse and the reason that i got this one is because it has this little front pocket right here it fit my phone perfect okay so like i always <clears throat> didn't have to dig through the purse it you know i had it right there when i needed it um it does have like two little pockets in it and i mean it's not that big but you know obviously i still have stuff in it but it is a great size if you're traveling and um, I'm just going to hold it up here and you just want a smaller purse because I carry a big old satchel around all the time but for this trip I just wanted a smaller purse so this is actually the I kept the tag so I would know for sure this is the Kate Spade Cameron Street um, in warm vellum and I'm not going to tell y'all how much I spent on this purse because I'm just not it was my little treat. Okay. Y'all know it's Kate Spade, so it wasn't cheap. But I really like it, and I know I'm going to use it a lot more. Not just for this trip, but I just know I'll be using it. So, I was okay with it. I wanted it. I got it. So, okay. The next thing that I want to talk about is... Um, oh, and really, this is the last thing, actually. So... Um, Oh, I'm trying to let make sure Carson can't hear me, but I bought him. His birthday is um, Tuesday. Hello. And he wanted a new gaming computer. So that's what he's getting for his birthday. I'm sorry if I'm speaking really low, but I don't want him to hear me because it's a big surprise. So um, I bought him a new gaming computer, and I bought it from Amazon because... I really like to read the reviews on things like this okay I'm, especially when I'm investing in something like this because it was not cheap I'm not even gonna lie but I want to read reviews and I know that people are gonna leave reviews that and they're gonna leave honest re reviews about these computers and so like I said it's a gaming computer um, something he really wanted it's the only thing he asked for hmm. wonder why but so that's the last thing that I bought for in March um, was his birthday gift and I know he's gonna be super excited so anyway okay I can talk loud again <laughs> okay so let's see I guess that's it and I hope the video was helpful for you guys and let me know if there's certain things that you like to get from Amazon that might be helpful or relatable to any of the things that I got people like to know and, you know, that's just kind of like a whole reason of doing these videos. It's just to let you guys, you know, see things that I bought. Maybe it's helpful for you. Um, like I said, support your local businesses. I firmly believe in that. And your, your small shops, you know, they need the support. But there's just some things that you can't get locally. And all of these things were things that you can't get locally. So, with that said, guys, 
thank you so much for watching and um, I would love for you to just to, I would love for you to just subscribe to my channel um, I I know I'm fairly new to YouTube I've been doing Facebook lives for a while now so I'm not that unfamiliar with videos I'm just kind of new to YouTube but I still would love for you to subscribe just hit the subscribe button um, hit the little bell button that way you see whenever I upload a new video and I am not on a good video schedule so I'm just doing the best that I can and doing videos as I can so that's pretty much it guys I hope y'all have a wonderful day and thanks so much for stopping by I'm already waving by I don't know why I'm doing that but anyway okay thanks for stopping by and Catch y'all in the next video. All right, bye.